To scan a goat, you need to first apply gel to eliminate air. You can put this on your hand and onto the underside of the goat, or you can put it directly onto your probe or both. If you've just received a brand new ultrasound machine, make sure you remove the tape from the head of the probe. I'm going to now apply gel to the head of the transducer. The best side to start with is on the right hand side of the dough, putting the probe up under her back leg. I'm putting the probe up underneath the back leg because she is a young doe and she hasn't had a pregnancy before. I'll probably have to go quite high up underneath her leg and I'm looking for the uterus around about here. If you have somebody to help you, it's very useful if they can lift the back leg, folding it up so as not to put strain on the joint. You can do the same from the left hand side and another position is in front of the other. Particularly if the pregnancy is quite early, you can try looking from this position as well. From whichever position you scan, always be mindful of where you think the uterus is in the animal and angle your probe to point in that direction. When I'm placing my transducer here, imagining she had a large udder in the way here, I want to angle my probe so that I'm pointing in the direction of where her uterus would be. From this position, I'm imagining that the uterus is going to be here, so I'm angling to point towards it. And if I was under the back leg, then similarly, I'm going to want to lift the tail of my probe and angle the transducer into her body to where I think her uterus will be. For this size dough, I'm going to pick a convex probe because I have good penetration with this probe. If I was scanning a Nigerian dwarf, for example, I might pick a microconvex probe. The penetration is not as good, but the image quality is better. And on a smaller goat, this would be more appropriate. It's also a lot more maneuverable. So when you're getting back up under the leg, you can move it more easily. If you need any help or advice on which transducer to pick, please just get in touch.